So hi, hello and welcome, Micropunter here. Well, I'm gonna show you today in this very basic introductory video how you can use a microscope. Oh, yeah, well, of course, you don't want to hold the microscope up here, but this is called the arm of the microscope and that's usually the place uh, where you carry it. Don't touch it up here and do take care that the eyepiece does not fall out. So and what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to give you five tips uh, on microscope use uh, because these are five common problems that I've seen beginners make. And we're going to get started right away. And the first thing that I want you to do is, is I want you to take a slide. Usually a microscope already comes with a whole box of prepared slides. And what you want to do is, is you want to press the back of the clips of the stage clips here and then you can see that they're raised up and you can put the slide in here. Uh, you always want to put it in with a label on top of course and uh, once you've done that uh, then the slide is not able to fall out. I have to be very careful here. I don't want the eyepiece to fall out of course again. Yeah and then, then uh, what I'm going to show you now is uh, a problem, the problem number one that many beginners uh, make. So what they do is the following. Um, they look uh, through the eyepiece here and then they start, well they turn it on of course, you don't forget to turn it on and you don't forget to turn up the light here and then they do the following, look, ah, they start doing the following, they start turning it into one direction because they want to find the focus, they cannot find the focus, so they keep on turning it into the other direction, but they still can't find the focus, then they discover that there is also a so-called a coarse focus knob, the big one, and then they start doing this here, ah, I can't find it. And that's the wrong way of focusing, okay? So I'm gonna give you now the uh, tip on how to do it properly. Um, number one, you have to make sure that uh, the smallest objective, that's uh, this one here, it has usually a red ring, it's the four times objective. You have to make sure that this one is in, in, in position here, okay? And then what you do is, is you take the coarse focus knob and you raise the stage all the way to the top. You see that there are a couple of centimeters um, of space here. Yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, crashing the objective um, into the slide because uh, yeah, it doesn't go up further. And then you look through it, okay? And then you turn it down, you lower the stage until you see a sharp and a clear image. It's that simple, okay? I'm finished. How long did it take me? Five seconds? Not even. And then what you do next is the following. You look through it and then you recenter the slide. You recenter the slide and then you can go up to the next higher magnification and then you only use the fine focus knob to focus. And that's it. Okay, it's that easy. But if uh, people start going back and forth like this, well then of course you're not going to find anything because uh, um, it's going to be mostly out of focus uh, the whole time and it's too difficult. You don't know into which direction to turn it. So if you lose the focus again, oh it's totally blurry, I don't see anything. Well then you do the following, you go back to the smallest uh, four times objective, you raise the stage again, you look through it and you lower it until it's in focus. And that's it. Yeah, don't use the coarse focus knob when you have a high power um, objective uh, in position because otherwise you risk uh, crashing the objective into the slide. But when everything is in focus uh, with a low power and when everything's in focus, then you can without any problems switch to the higher powers because the microscope is designed in such a way that then the objective is not going to crash into the slide but everything's going to be in focus okay so the people who designed the microscopes were actually taking this already into consideration so um, and some people what they do is, is they make a mistake they focus everything and then they're kind of so worried about switching to the higher power that they defocus everything again and then they try to refocus it and that is wrong okay you have to make sure that everything is in, in everything is raised up, um, you look at it, uh, you lower it until it's in focus um, and then you can easily switch over immediately to the next higher power, you stay with a fine focus and then you can again switch higher with a fi fine focus, uh, it's going to be fine, uh, but uh, essentially don't touch the coarse focus for the high power. Okay, second problem is sometimes uh, people put on here a specimen that is way too thick uh, and uh, for example if you want to look at a leaf um, of a plant then sometimes they will take uh, the leaf and they simply put it directly um, on the stage here and then they're surprised that they don't see anything at all and it's all black and it's all dark so what's going on well uh, those leaves here 
they might appear to be quite thin uh, to you, but actually they are they are they are several cell cell layers thick. Um, so if you want to look at them anyway, so what you do is, is you turn the light off, you put it on here, and using the low four power four times uh, magnifying objective, the low power objective, you take a flashlight and you shine the flashlight on top. And then you're able to see something. Of course, you also have to raise it, raise the stage again, um, and then you look at it, and then ah, now it's in focus. Okay, um, so that's basically what you have to do. And uh, but if you try to look at it uh, with the light uh, coming from the bottom, you're probably not going to see anything. So um, I have a second recommendation here. Um, if you, of course, you can always look at the ready-made slides that come along with a microscope. But my other recommendation is the following. Why not try uh, taking some uh, sticky tape? And uh, what you do with the tape is, is you put it on your t-shirt um, and you take it off again. And uh, now there are many fibers and also dust uh, on the tape. And you simply put it on a microscope slide and you look at that under the microscope, okay? Um, and uh, this is uh, small enough, it's flat enough, um, and uh, you can then see, uh, yeah, what is basically what can be found in dust. And also you can, of course, also see the cotton fibers of your t-shirt this way. So that's something that I recommend that you try first uh, because it also helps you to focus and it gives you some practice. Okay, so the next point, uh, sometimes people have a problem uh, looking uh, through the microscope and seeing things because the slide is not centered. It's so easy uh, to, to miss that, but it happens so often. People uh, in my classroom, they sometimes they panic, uh, they cannot see anything, and then all of a sudden uh, you discover that they're looking at the label and not at the specimen. Okay, it's a very common uh, thing uh, to overlook. Just make sure that the slide is properly uh, centered and also uh, before you change to the higher next higher magnification then uh, you also always um, also have to send to the slide and again and then you use the fine focus uh, for uh, again getting the focus right so next point is uh, that the microscope is not set up properly um, so um, sometimes you are not able to see anything because the objective is not centered and it's some somewhere in between the two objectives here and then you do not see anything or the many microscopes, especially the low-cost introductory microscopes, they have a, a ring here okay, that you can turn and there are little um, holes in there and I think that actually uh, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Sometimes there are color filters in here, I think it doesn't really make a huge difference. But if it's not uh, set up properly, um, if it's between uh, two holes, then the light is completely blocked out and you're not going to see anything at all. So don't overlook uh, this. Uh, this filter holder here as well. Yeah, next tip is is work with low magnifications. Uh, many beginning microscopists, what they want to do is, is they want to switch immediately to the highest uh, possible magnification because they think that they see more when the more that you magnify but as a matter of fact the image becomes just darker and uh, more blurry. Sure it does become bigger what you see but often you don't see many more details because everything is just more fuzzy and blurry. Um, so what I would recommend is, is try to uh, explore the environment with low magnifications first. Um, if you do want to go up with the higher magnifications also a couple of tips here. Um, you have to multiply the magnification of the uh, objective with the eyepiece. Um, so if for example here this is a four times magnifying objective times a 10 times eyepiece gives you 40 times and then here that's 10 times 10 is 100 times and uh, 40 times 10 is 400 times and if you now really want to go uh, much higher you can of course exchange uh, the eyepiece here and this is a 25 times magnifying eyepiece and uh, this basically means that uh, the maximum magnification that I have now is just 40 times 25 which is a thousand times uh, but honestly, uh, this is already, um, I would say, maybe even too high for many specimens because you're only going to see a very small, uh, you have a very small field of view and it's going to be pretty dark uh, because the more you magnify, the more not light you need and yeah, there is going to be a limit uh, sometime when you're not going to be able to see much more. So my recommendation is generally um, stick uh, to the 10 times, with uh, stick with the 10 times magnifying eyepiece um, and uh, yeah, use that uh, and don't don't automatically go to the highest magnification but you have to always work yourself upwards you always start with the low power first and then when everything is in focus then you go up okay but don't immediately start with high power um, because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to focus and uh, I think it also, it's also going to take more time to actually find the things that you want to look at
And I think I'm just going to give you also a bonus uh, tip. Uh, do write down what you're observing. Uh, keep a diary. Okay, I've uh, done this here as well. I've just uh, put a little date um, into the notebook and then I simply writ have written down what I observed. Uh, if you want to, you can also take pictures, of course, using a mobile phone. Then you can upload the picture into the computer and print it out and maybe uh, stick uh, the printout into your no uh, notebook. But do keep uh, some kind of uh, yeah um, a record or a written diary because uh, um, I think that's a very nice uh, way of actually also remembering all of the things that you've uh, actually looked at under the microscope. And a last bonus tip. So I'm just going to give you two bonus tips, which might surprise you a little bit. Uh, if possible, don't clean your microscope. Okay, uh, because especially those objectives, if you keep the microscope in a reasonably dust-free environment and if you put a cover over it, um, you shouldn't, there shouldn't be any need to clean the microscope objectives. And as a matter of fact, every cleaning that you do risks damaging the objectives. Sometimes it might be necessary to clean the eyepiece because it might get uh, dirty because of the eyelashes and the oil from your skin. Um, and in this case, uh, you use uh, a Q-tip, which is uh, those little cotton swabs that you use also for cleaning uh, your ears. You can add a little bit, a small drop of alcohol on, on there and then carefully wipe the eyepiece. Uh, but generally, um, if possible, try to uh, avoid cleaning as much as you can. Um, if the microscope objective does get dirty, then of course you do have to clean it um, and also avoid getting any mounting medium uh, on the microscope and do not use immersion oil. If you don't know what immersion oil is, good, <laughs> don't use it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that is uh, pretty much it. Uh, hope that it was informative for you. Do leave your comments behind. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.